Hi students, today I want to introduce for you a new scheme for encoding decimal numbers into binary and it's called gray code. So let me just give it to you here. I'll do the gray code for um, four inputs and the decimal equivalent. So in order to hit all of the input combinations, usually we would start with 0, 0, 0, 0, and we would count up in binary. Gray code is different in that um, we're only going to change one bit at a time. So this is still going to be 0, but then from here to here, we're going to keep these the same and just change this um, least significant bit to give us decimal 1. And then in the next case, we're actually going to keep this bit the same and then this bit we're going to change to 1. So this looks different than regular binary because you guys know that 0011 1 is 3 in binary but in gray code it's 2. And then the next state, 00, zero this is going to stay the same but this one we're going to flip back to 0 and so this is 3. So as you can see these are kind of switched. Um, so just remember that if you are um, if your binary is in gray code, that it's not going to map exactly to um, regular counting up in binary for um, BCD, binary coded decimal. So let's continue. Um, for number four, we have zero. This bit stays the same, this bit stays the same, but this one flips. And then for five, these stay the same, and this one flips. And then for six, these stay the same, but this one flips. And for 7, this stays the same, and this one flips back to 0. And then for 8, this one flips, these, the rest stay the same. And then for 9, these ones stay the same, and this one flips. And then for 10, all of these will be 1. And then moving on to 11, these stay the same, and this one flips. And for 12, these stay the same, and this one flips. And then for 13, these stay the same, and this one flips. And for 14, these stay the same, and this one flips. Finally, 15, these stay the same, and then this one flips to 0. Okay, so this is the gray code for 4-bit um, inputs. Um, you'll notice that from each state to the next, right, from each decimal number to the next, we only have one binary bit that flips, as opposed to for binary coded decimal, which is what we did um, before, if we had um, 001 was 1 in decimal and 010 was 2 in decimal, in this case, um, this bit flips from 1 to 0, this bit flips from 0 to 1, and this one stays the same. So in our previous scheme, we actually had two bit flips in order to go from one number to the next. Here with gray code, for every time we go from one number to the next, we're only going to have one bit change. And the reason why we need to learn this um, alternative encoding scheme is when we go to talk about Carnot maps, our Carnot maps have to be constructed with gray code and not with BCD because it's important that between one state to the next there's only one bit difference. So we'll go on to that in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions about um, constructing the gray code.